All right, well, I got another project. This old Sony deck. As you can see, it's in really, really good condition. But as with all old cassette decks, guess what? The belts are no good. They turned to goo, I'm sure. So we got some new belts. There's two belts per side. And uh, we're going to be replacing those. My workbench has been really busy. Seeing how I've been stuck in the... That there is uh, working. That's that 1960 Motorola record changer. Changer's working now. Um, got a new idler wheel and a new cartridge working fantastic. This thing just came off the workbench and it's got to go back on the workbench because I need to order parts for that. Anyway, so yeah. Got to keep busy here, otherwise I'll go stir crazy sitting in the house. These are projects I've been wanting to get to and uh, I'm going to get to them. So what do you say we get inside this deck and uh, change these belts? All right, here are our tape decks exposed right there. So I have to do some disassembling. But uh, there's one of those sloppy belts here. And uh, here's another. But uh, yeah, you could feel the goo on them. You kind of don't want to run those because then that goo will work its way into the grooves of the uh, of the uh, drive the, uh, pulley there and become a pain in the ass to clean out. So looks like they're going to be pretty straightforward to take out. I think it's uh, this guy, this guy, and I'm not sure. So we'll see. Let's get to it. Actually, I found this to be kind of a clever design. So, what do you have here? You have uh, one, two, three screws in the plastic. You go into the chassis here. Then you have one, two screws that actually hold the feet on. They actually go into the bottom of the cassette deck there. Then all the ribbon cables and uh, grounds just disconnect. So, you can pull this off and work right on it just like that. So, how cool is that very cool thank you sony so yeah let's get to it all right so far it's been pretty pleasant but you see some black shit on my hands that is those belts right there breaking down there's no elasticity left to these belts any longer and uh yeah you can see some Black stuff on that grill, uh, that, that grill, that, uh, gear. Yeah, that, uh, has got to be cleaned off. And, uh, but actually the pulleys look pretty damn good. One pulley down there, I don't see any black on there. I don't see any black on there. And I do not see any black on those, so. All good. So, yeah. All right, so this is an old belt, but this smaller belt goes from here, this guy right here, to, bring this down here like this, to that little pulley right down there. So that one will take a little finagling, but I believe the rest of these are going to be pretty straightforward. So let's see. Uh, let me see if I can peek on this side. And see where that belt is actually routed. Is it uh, toast? Is it crap? Yeah, I think that one is really gone. That's real gone, brother. Uh, yeah. That one is toast to Reno. So, yeah. The routing of this belt is a little bit of an enigma to me. Alright, so I'm working on the other deck here and... This one here has a belt that just literally blew itself apart. And uh, you kind of want to get this old belt out of there as many big pieces as possible. Because they turn into tar, a tar-like substance anyway. And, uh, well, we're going to see if I can show you an example. Well, it's all over my fingers, as you can see. Like I said, tar. Sometimes you you 
very well at rolling this off of here like I'm doing now. And uh, it's more forgiving than trying to pull it off because it will stick to itself as you're rolling it. And uh, you can coil that right up there until it stops, of course. And then uh, I'll come back and I'll resume. All right. And then we can just wipe it down. Not that big a deal. A little cleaner on there. Come back and let's wipe this wheel down. The other black stuff you see in there is Sony's grease. It still feels pretty damn good. So, we will wipe these down <coughs> and let them set up. Okay. So now I know how this routing goes without second guessing. This one's back together. Belt goes around like so. Comes through here. Okay. Round. Through here. Over to this drive, which will be flipped up like that. I'm hoping I got this one right. I, I, I'm confident that I did. I'm just hoping everything is seated properly. So we'll find out when we plug it back in. I mean, the deck is pretty easy to work on. Unfortunately, it's almost all plastic cassette deck, you know. Really starts to show when Sony's starting to hit the skids in the mid-90s. I think this deck is from, in fact, there's a manufacturer date right here. Uh, July 23rd, 1992. So, yeah. And this one is actually made in, made where? I'm trying to see where, oh, it's, it's still made in Japan. That's, that's bizarre. I mean, I guess I could tell by how nicely it's laid out, but, you know, still. The important thing is we get it back together, all right? So that should be dry enough. So, yeah, this is how this goes. This belt goes in. Like so. And it actually will ride like... Don't do that, dumbass. Alright, and it rides in there like that. Over to the motor. Kind of like that right there. So, we'll... Uh, I think it's probably wise. Just hook it right there. For now. That way I'm not fighting with it. And this one here, it was actually pretty easy to put on. So, let's do it. These are the parts I hate right here the most. Are the black... Black things here, you know? Am I in? I guess I am in. But that doesn't mean I'm done. Because, uh... Why? Because this... Counter belt... Has to come... All the way forward. Like... Not like that, of course. Jeez. You know, so it has to go. Oh, jeez. Best laid plans, huh? No. Okay, I think that's how that goes. I think, and maybe put that over there like that. Oh, we lost it again. Dang you! Get on there. We don't want it that way. There, I'll put it like that for now. Hopefully, that's good. Hopefully. 
I says. I'm trying here. I'm trying to keep you guys in the movie. So you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, this is kind of tough. But that one looks pretty good. This one looks like it has to come around. And I know it does. So it's a dumb thing to say. So now we have our little hook. On this belt, it's not too much of a problem. I don't think. So, I'm going to better grab it from like that or not. Is that right? Am I properly there? That's pretty good. Let's see. Uh, question is, do I have these tabs in the back locked in? And it appears that I do. Which means now... I can grab, don't use those. I already know that hook is not gonna work, so don't even waste my time. But I will grab this guy like this and lift it back under. Oh no, don't do that again. And I was just, uh, Giving this thing praises, I took it apart about how easy it was going to be to work on it. Remember that? You have to remember, it was only like 15 minutes ago. What did I set there? Only like 15 minutes ago. Be over here. So you got just enough to pull this up like so and put it over there. All right? So let's not worry about seating that right now. Let's worry about this big honker right here. Okay? Because that's the one that I need to worry about. I think I got it. You say you think. I think I say. But then now I need to get this black one down below. Maybe. Maybe. See if I can run that groove. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that is it. So now what? Put it back up. Hope for the best. That looks like that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Those are locked. Those are locked. All right, so let's put some screws in here, and uh, we know this is our middle one. Okay, this guy goes here, this guy goes there. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna put our. This is a little plastic mechanism that I removed that actually holds in the um, cassette tech function arm uh, cassette tech function the eject uh, mechanism. Without that, it'll just fall apart on you. So yeah, we gotta put that back in. Wipe that down. It's got a little goo on it. I think it's a little grease. Let's get that out of there. And it just kind of toes in like like this and then clips up all right you might hear a satisfying click here in a minute you hear that was that satisfying no it wasn't not quite 
what I'm working on, satisfaction. Okay. Well, that all seems good. Uh, try this again, huh? No, that's not satisfactory at all. What am I missing? Something's not seated here. But I'm working on it. There we go. Alright, so now the metal plate is seated. This here should seat just wonderfully now. There we go. Now there was a satisfactory click there. It's funny that this side has this plate on it and the other side did not. But there's not even a screw hole for that one, so I'm not going to sweat it. I don't know why they did that. I didn't design it. But moving right along. All right, let's check our mechanism here for eject. Nope, that's why we checked. That one's working. So what do I have, something wrong here? Uh, no, everything looks like it's lined up pretty good here. Okay. Well, let's get that fixed before we put it back together because... What good does that do us if the door doesn't open? Yes? Right. Let's take this one plate back off. If I recall correctly, that one was actually giving me a problem anyway before I even started this project. So now's a good time to get in here and see why it's doing the same thing Wait a minute. There. Now, let's see if it clears. No. Maybe I should leave that open until I put it back together because something here is giving me trouble. Why? What is it? Alright, so why is that? I'll tell you what. Let's put this back together. I'll still have exposure to this part here once it's back in the deck itself. And uh, we'll see then. Maybe we gotta get some power to rotate something here. So we'll see. The problem with that is putting this plate in once it's inside there will be a real pain in the butt. So what? Can I get to that still? Yeah, I think so. I think so. If not, I guess I'll just pull it back out again, right? Uh-oh, that's not it. Oh, I missed the damn screw hole right there. All right. Let's get this thing tapped in here. All right, so there's that. Get this out of the way. Move you guys back a little bit. I'm going to put you on big, all right? So you can see that what's going on. All right, so I got you guys on uh, big so you can see what's going on here. All right, so this, my friend, goes in something kind of like this. Let's just take our time, though, because these, di oh, I should show you. You see these plugs here, there, and there, and there. Well, the cassette deck ports into those. So we gotta be careful not to bend any of those pins on the way back in, okay? So we just take our time. And, uh, no hurry. And, uh, yeah. So we got everything out of the way. Everything should be out of the way. Let me see how this looks on the bottom here. See if the holes are lined up. 
That looks pretty goddamn good right there. So, yeah. Let me take you down to where I'm going to. Strawberry Fields. Alright, first things first. Let me screw these uh, cassette decks in. Because these screws here that I'm putting in right now actually screw to the bottom of the deck itself. And then uh, these feet actually rotate and they lock in. One, two. Somehow. Come on now. Do you not? Oh, they're different size, so they only go in one way, so you got to be careful just to put them in the way they're keyed. Okay, there's one. There's another. Did I just say another? I think I did just say another. Like I was back down south. Come on. Come on, man. Small and big, so somewhere like uh, over here, like this. Why can't I find? There we go. That much better. All right, so yeah. This guy back in here like so. And then we got one, two, three for the bottom. And then we will come back. That's for the side. That's for the side, I believe. Nope, that's not for the side. That's for the side. And that's for the side. And these three here, the plastic bezel. Yeah, this is my first Sony, uh, well, this model. Anyway, um, the reason why I decided to do it is, you know, it's a nice deck. It's got logic control. Uh, instead of the old hard mechanical keys, it's got logic control uh, function and uh, full range of Dolby noise reduction. And, and it's in great condition. So let's go around here and see if we can start putting our stuff back together. Now this ground here, can you get in the movie here? Hold on. Alright, I'm going to hold you for this. So this ground here just gets crap clamped to the side like so. Okay, you see that? This guy here gets folded be careful with these ribbons. Those are pretty strong, but you still want to be careful. And then I have this one here is for the tape counter, I believe, on this side. Uh, there's only one way for it to go in. You just got to be able to see what the heck you're doing. So that's in. And this actually was uh, part of that. And, uh, yeah, let me get these out of the way here real quick. Because I want to run these retention wires back to where they belong. Keep these wires in place. And they go like that. Now I can put this guy. You guys can see what I'm doing. Yes. So this one goes down in there. That's a nice, satisfying seat. And, uh, these only go in one way too. You still want to be careful. You know, they're pretty durable, but you don't need to go Conan on them. Yeah. So this one goes up. This one comes around and goes down here. I love quick plugs, man. I really do. I like them because if you did something wrong, you can quickly take it apart again. And start over. So, yeah, here we go. This is the moment of truth. So, let me get this button back up. This goes here. And this goes 
like this to hold those in place. All right, here is the moment of truth for real. All right, so we have power. We have power. That one's seated. That one did something. Oh, the jack's working. Maybe it had to be seated. That one's working. Uh, come around here. Hit play. Oh, maybe we need a tape. That would probably make sense. So, what about Harry Chapin? Hmm? I don't know. Let's find out if it likes Harry Chapin. Yes, it does. See? Mechanism's working, so stop. Uh, fast forward. Stop. Rewind. Should we auto stop? Nice. And uh, how about we throw some sound in here? I don't want to get dinged for uh, copyright. I'm not going to get dinged for copyright. But I got a headphone jack here. Alright, so I have the headphones in. Okay. So, let's see. Do we have a... Uh, we have... Let's see if the balance is set. Sounds pretty good. So, let's hear. Just going to give you a little sample. I have to record some YouTube music to a tape. All right, let me get you caught up here. What you didn't see is I put this all together, and that deck worked fine, and the belt fell off of that one. So I took it back apart. And uh, as you can see, that deck is working just fine now. And I'm not going to let you hear what's on that tape. I'm going to record some YouTube music straight into the deck. And then uh, we will take it upstairs so you guys can get a proper demo of this thing. This thing is very nice. So it has auto reverse. You can see it start playing on the other side. Get down here so you can really see. And uh, so you're going to watch this head here spin when I hit reverse. Very cool. So um, this deck is working fantastic too. Funny thing though, on, you know, there's dual rollers on the right side roller here and on the right side roller here right there and right there had white i would i would guess mildew or mold on it so it took some cleaning so the head's got a nice cleaning i demagnetized it with my handy old electric demagnetizer and as you can see it's working fantastic so yeah let me flood some music onto this tape here. I got rid of those shitty pre-recorded tapes because those nine times out of ten are absolute garbage. So this is a Max L that was recorded on mine upstairs, but you're not going to hear that music uh, because, you know, I don't want to get a copyright ding. So anyway, yeah, let me get some YouTube music on here. And the next time you see this, it'll be upstairs in my son's room paired up with the Sony receiver. All right, the cassette deck is back where it belongs. We picked this up at an estate sale. This receiver, which there was nothing wrong with it, and the cassette deck, and the TV. He loved the TV. He had a flat panel, but he wanted this old one to pull, run his games through. You see it up there? So anyway, I recorded some YouTube music on this deck now. It's got clean heads, new belts, and clean rollers and cab stands. And so I put several samples of YouTube music on here so we can go through the auto music search and see how well that works. I recorded it in the B deck because that is your record deck. And I'm going to play it back in the playback. It doesn't matter where I play it back. You know, same function. But while I'm at it, I already listened back um, on this deck. So now I'm going to give this one a sample. So what do you say we do it now?
music search. And when it finds a pause in the tape, it'll stop. Sample to the next track. And there's an auto reverse function. Just hit that. Yeah, but we don't want to listen to that. Copyright. Alright guys, thanks for watching my videos.